Hey, what up everybody? It's Stevie Breach coming to you Willie Nelson style. If you watched my uh, review last night of WWE Breakdown, I brought up all the things that were going on in my life yesterday. Uh, and basically tonight wasn't as busy. I did have to work. I normally will um, uh, come home and directly watch Monday Night Raw to give my uh, uh, thoughts and review just because I want to be up to date on everything that is going on. Uh, today, as I was working, I, I didn't have a chance to check out any streams or spoilers or even listen to the show at all. Uh, I was very, very busy, so I had no idea what was going on. I come home uh, to find out that the Braves are on. I'm, I'm, I'm watching the Braves game right now. It's 3-2. to two, uh, In the bottom of the 7th, the Braves are uh, putting runners on first and second with two outs, trying to get the last out uh, to, to go on. There's no way in the world I'm going to miss this game. I honestly forgot about... Uh, the the Braves game last night because of the WWE breakdown and the uh, San Francisco 49ers playing on uh, Sunday night football. I just had too much stuff going on. Uh, I worked uh, up until a point and now I'm going uh, uh, to to watch this game and I have to work early in the morning so there's not a chance I'm going to watch Monday Night Raw. So I decided to check out my timeline and found out that I missed a ton of returns tonight. The, 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 I missed the return of Bob Backlund, Shawn Michaels, and the announcement of John Cena coming back to freaking Hell in the Cell. Uh, John Cena, it was heavily rumored, was going to miss up to six months of action due to his arm injury after uh, his match at SummerSlam. And uh, I thought it was kind of weird the way that they're bringing him back. I remember last year, uh, John Cena was hurt at Hell in the Cell, and basically they used him in the pre-show to do... A QA. and a uh, They were just launching this uh, YouTube uh, uh, sort of free pre-show to get everybody riled up to, to give them a last chance to try and order the pay-per-view. And um, they used John Cena to come out and answer questions from fans. I thought it was one of the worst ideas that they've ever done, but they needed to get something out of John Cena for the amount they were paying him. Uh, because they didn't know if Cena was going to be able to work Hell in the Cell or not until almost the last minute. Um, I think it was basically that show that I went to where they uh, did uh, Punk versus Vince. Uh, I think even at that point, that was like two weeks before, they, they weren't sure what was going on. It might have been the next week that they actually announced uh, that Ryback was going to be the guy. I just remember Cena wasn't able to move at all. Um, but honestly, to bring back Cena... Uh, to face Del Rio, uh, honestly, I don't think these guys have had a at least a championship match since 2011. They've been a brand split, plus for a good little while, uh, they were both good guys, I guess you can say, for a bit. But, um, wow, I mean, um, Cena going after the World Heavy Heavyweight Championship, I don't think is the, the worst thing in the world. Uh, they, they used uh, this segment to sort of have a match between Ricardo and Del Rio, and um, if I read it right, which I'm not even 100% sure that I did, I guess Ricardo was able to beat Del Rio because he was so stunned that Cena was coming back. Uh, the World Heavyweight Championship, honestly, in my mind, hasn't really meant anything. It's almost like the Intercontinental Championship, almost since about WrestleMania 27, about the time that Del Rio won it for the first time from Christian uh, when Edge uh, retired. Um, Edge was the one guy that really made that belt really mean something. Um, I can't remember. I get, well, I have the DVD sitting here. I can look at it. Back in, I guess, 2008, when the World Heavyweight Championship was actually used on Monday Night Raw, and, um, John Cena was the champion. Um, this is one of my favorite pictures of Cena. I guess I could take the plastic off. I've, I haven't watched this show, but, um, it was sitting on my shelf, but... This is one of my favorite pictures of Cena. I think this show was in Boston, if I remember right. I'm not 100% sure. But uh, once he won the title uh, from Jericho, uh, he you know went over to the announce table and he held the belt up. And I always thought this was a really cool picture. And when I met Cena at SummerSlam, it was one I was really looking for to get like an 8x10 uh, so I could actually hang this up and put it on the wall. I always think of Cena as you know the uh, WWE champion. Um, but this picture to me just always seemed really, really cool. So, you know, for Cena to go out and I would guess if you're going to put him in this match as a return match, he has to win the belt, right? I mean, why else do you bring back Cena? You don't bring him back to put over Alberto Del Rio, knowing that after Del Rio and Cena, Del Rio's going to go out and find the next bum along the street who, um, might be Christian 
or, you know, right there. Nobody stacks up to John Cena. That, that's basically it, you know. Cena's going to win this belt. Then you got to find somebody for Cena to lose this belt to that doesn't look horrible. And maybe what you can do is have Cena win this belt and then actually have Cena get pinned by Ryback and Ryback become a World Heavyweight Champion. And even then, that doesn't give this belt a whole bunch of, you know, prestige. But... <coughs> They have tried so hard with Del Rio. He's been good guy. He's been bad guy. And it hasn't worked. It, it's just dumb. And I don't know anything. I, uh, if I'm WWE, I don't even have John Cena show up to Monday Night Raw. I know that John Cena is the freaking, you know, just um, a bionic man. Uh, you know, uh, when he was... Uh, uh, in Ohio Valley, and before then, he wrestled as the prototype, and it, he was sort of like some robot. I honestly think that he really is some futuristic Terminator robot, man, because, like, you get yourself cut open, and, you know, your ligaments and all that crap moved around in your arm, and you come back after two months. That's... <coughs> I apologize, but that's... That's fucking crazy. That is awesome. I know that Cena is pushing it to the limits... I'm sure that he's coming back way back before, you know, Dr. Andrews or anybody in the WWE wants him to come back. But, um, especially for him to come back and actually help out the SmackDown brand. I respect the hell out of this guy. Um, I have a ton of thoughts about what they're going to do with this. Honestly, in my mind, just hold Cena out all the way to the pay-per-view. That way, all the kids who want to see Cena come back get something out of it by, you know, buying this show and helping out Hell in the Cell. And um, it's almost like that Survivor... Uh, no, that, that's Survivor, that SummerSlam. Uh, when Triple H came back from his uh, knee injury and Rey Mysterio came back from his injury, the first time you actually saw him was on the show. So, you know... If you actually were a Triple H fan and you wanted to see his first match back or a Rey Mysterio, you had you had to buy the show. And I think, if I remember right, that's when he came back as a Silver Surfer. I think that match is against Chavo. Uh, and Triple H was against Booker T's. But, I mean, that was one of the things that really helped out that SummerSlam was uh, people wanting to pay to see the returns and actually ordering the show. After last year, uh, after uh, last night's show at Battleground, it's going to take a John Cena to show up to really help this Hell in the Cell show. Um, more than likely, you're going to have, you know, Cena versus uh, Del Rio. You'll have a rematch of uh, Punk versus Ryback. You'll do a... Uh, uh, I haven't seen what the hell is going down with the main event yet. That was the one thing I didn't see. I know the big show kicked off the show with Stephanie McMahon, but I never read about what happened in it. So I'm going to have to watch this show, check it out, see as much as I can. But my mind is blown John Cena in the main event. The Braves are up. There is his top of the eighth. Gaddis, the world's worst left fielder of all time. I know this guy's got an awesome bat, but um, why he's in there in left field, I have no idea. It's not worth it. It's the same thing that sank these Braves with Brooks Conrad playing second base, who's the third baseman and a first baseman, who was only in there for his bat and uh, basically committed three errors against the San Francisco Giants. In, uh, I guess, a game four. And it was the third. It was the most costly. But I guess we don't learn from uh, our mistakes. And uh, my apologies for anybody who was uh, insulted by my Briscoe's bandana. I know there are some people out there that might be. But uh, my hats, both of them, are in the car. And I didn't feel like wearing uh, an Oakland A's hat or a or some 26 hat. It was the only hats I had in here. So I'm going to get back to this. Peace out, everybody. I hope we beat the crap out of Wilson. Never liked that guy that much anyways.